Riders ready? Of course I bloody am. Sticks up like a sore asshole, doesn't it? Oh yeah. So how are you all bloody doing? Epic location. I actually came here with the MVP the other day. Birthday surprise. I'm now 35. I'm hoping for some decent presents and that in the post from you lot for all my entertainment over the years. But yeah, 35, still alive. And now I'm back to ride this place because there are some epic riding spots. Found a few sort of gnarly trails, couple gaps, some sketchy jumps. Um, Enduro still alive, I'm still alive. Got some proper lols and stuff. I just turned 29 when I started these vlogs, six years ago. And uh, that means this bike is six years old as well. We're all getting on now, aren't we? Do you know what I mean? But I'm still here, trying to entertain you, entertain myself. Unsponsored basket, living that dream up the stream. Kiemon. What on earth is that? Right, first trail of the day is down this steep bad boy. Definitely some sort of basket berm down there. See where it ends up. I'll check this one later. And that one looks like a dead end. All right, let's get down here. Does my brakes work? Not really. Oh, this is mulchy. It's nice though. Someone's been down it, you can see it. Oh my god, this is steep. Oh, yep. Take the higher line. Kind of wrong. Oh, what the hell is this? Ooh. Kind of scared the shit out of me. There's a sheer drop down that side, over that tree. That looks so good. I don't really like the look of that. That looks dodgy as hell. Stick that there. Definitely some sort of jump there. Maybe down right. Yeah, I like the look of this one. What on earth is that? Nice little jump over a grave. I'm loving that. Bloody gems around here, bud. I tell you. All right. That was amazing, but I took the wrong line. It was one further back in. All right, let's do that again. Back at the top, I had no idea it split off into two. The left one takes you away from the doubles. The right one brings you straight towards it. I'm now gonna take the right one, hopefully, if I remember. It's early, I'm tired, but I'm slowly waking up. 
All right, let's go. Little bit slow and sluggish, but uh, I'll get there. This thing looks incredible as well. Ooh. Looks a little bit dodgy, that doesn't it? Beautiful. What a find this is. Holy crap. Stick that in the middle. That is amazing. Bloody hell, sabotage. Get rid of this tree. The line goes all the way up there. And then I bomb down it. Loving that jump though. Look at the view from up here. So good. And there is no wind. I mean, you can't hear no wind right now. You can hear my voice. Oh my God, that is so tight on the edge there. Oh. <laughs> That was loose as a goose. God, this bit is so good. Bit boggy, water must run down it, but uh, yeah, you kind of lip from there into that last little bit. God, that whole line is crazy. I want to come back and chase people down it. So cool. That's crazy. I just think rolling them over and make it as a drop. There's definitely some sort of trail in here as well. Comes down through this middle. See where it goes, shall we? Just found another epic hill bomb. No jumps, just straight bomb down through. It's gonna be a good time, hopefully.
try to avoid that bog. That is a proper summer hill bomb. Early in the morning, this will be dried out, leave the gate open, start right at the top and bomb down through. That is nuts. Pretty much vertical, but I've got a bit of a... He dug the bottom a little bit. Wow, that is incredible. Hey, you're gonna see dropping that bit there. I would die. I think if you sort of built on this bottom, mellowed it in. Yeah, that's nuts. There she bloody is. That is the tallest tree in England. Thought I'd sort of pop over. Have a little look at it. Absolute beast, look at it. Monster of a tree. Danny McCaskill was here. Look at this beast. Yeah. Definitely a free ride line there somewhere. Nice and steep. Roots look amazing. Oh, he's all right. So literally the first trail I came down this morning runs along the top of that sort of quarry ridge around. I went the wrong way. The trail actually comes down here. I just found out and it goes down through this valley. It looks so good. So at some point I'm going to come back with some friends and do this fall line that way. And then the other one, there's definitely some more around here, but uh, I'll start from here, bomb down this little valley to finish off. It looks pretty good. Let's have a little look actually. That bit's so sketchy. It's got to be a drop. That'd be my final thing. Kind of zigzagging. Oh my good god! Oh, yeah, that's quite fast actually. I'm gonna do that drop again, but instead of going around that corner, I'm gonna come straight across here, around, then down to the bottom. Because that thing is so good. You have to have a massive berm here to actually get around. First ride of 35, really enjoyed it. Kind of wish I was with other people to enjoy some of those uh, spots that I found. There is loads more, gonna come back to it for sure. Some of those lines I just wanna bomb down behind people. It looks so good. Once I get used to some of the lines up there, I'll go a lot faster, jump a little bit harder. Definitely wanna get an aggressive hardtail now. I was looking at the Ragley ones, they look nice. The Cotic ones look nice, but I did see an on one. Yeah, on one, hello Dave. Why Dave Genvy hasn't got that bike, I do not know. If anyone out there has had one, give me a shout. It is a still frame. Sounds really, really good. But that's enough of me waffling on. I'm going to sort of go back home now and then pick the MVP up from work. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. And bye for now. On one, hello Dave. Incredible, that is.